Just as that is a Norwegian film directed by Ariel Andresen, and this was uh, really famous in Bogota, Colombia, uh, by the Norwegian actors like Christopher Joner and Marlon Moreno with Patricia Castañeda from Colombia. But let me welcome to the director Ariel Andresen for tell about more on this film, uh, just a start. Mr. Andresen, tell about us just a start film and was the first time making Norway, but all the actors are in Colombia uh, in this movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, uh, the, the the story of uh, Handle with Care is uh, about uh, a Norwegian father, offshore oil worker, uh, and his adopted son. Uh, the wife has died in a car accident before the film starts, and the the main character Kjetil, played by Christopher Juno, is now uh, a single father for his six-year-old son. He doesn't cope with the situation uh, very well. He has problems handling the kid and he fears that he actually doesn't love the kid enough or in the right way. So he starts looking for solutions for this crisis, personal crisis he's going through. And uh, his search takes him all the way back to Colombia where the, where the child was originally adopted from to, to search for origins and, and possible clues for, for another life for, for his son, Daniel. Who is uh, who's the idea to make uh, this film? Uh, there's a guy called uh, Jorge Camacho. He's uh, born and, and raised in Bogota, Colombia. He lives in Norway now with a Norwegian wife and family. And uh, he had this idea for, for a film where he wanted to, to, to come up with a story that connects Norway and Colombia culturally, like what do we have in common. And he also had a very strong wish to, to uh, have his uh, home city, Bogota, uh, portrayed. On, in, in a feature film. Uh, he uh, pitched his idea in the film environment in Norway and get great response. He won a, a pitching award for uh, best ID at a Norwegian film festival. And later on, he, uh, he was uh, brought in touch with me through uh, the film's producer, Hans Jürgen Usnes. I met Torge, he told me his ID. I thought that there was some great material for a film here and we just started to work. This is already close to five years ago when I first met him. Uh, I've been doing different stuff in the meantime, obviously, and so has Jorge, but, but at the same time we have been developing this film. Eventually we, we had a, a script that we brought to Norwegian Film Institute and we got uh, some basic financing, so we start to build from, and we shot it in Norway, Amsterdam and Bogota, through late December 2000, 2015 and January, February 2016, post-production all last year, and it was finished for Christmas. And now it's time for the Norwegian premiere in just a few days. How was uh, the experience in Bogota, Colombia, being you the first time to visit a work with Colombian actors? Yes, I, I uh, went there in, in, connection, in relation with the film production for the first time in February 2015, so more or less a year earlier than when we returned for the actual shooting uh, of the film. Um, so this was my first uh, impression of, of uh, Colombia and, and Bogota particularly. And I, I really have to say I really liked the city a lot. I thought it was such an amazing location for a film. It's so rich on People, contrast, there are poor people, uh, rich people, uh, poor neighborhoods, rich neighborhoods. There's so much life in there. I, I, I love the spirit of the, of, of the city and of the people. Uh, the, uh, the, the way that the people you meet there, the way they deal with their situation, the way they struggle for life and to survive. Uh, 
the colors, the noise. I was quite taken by it. And, and of course, there was not necessarily easy to build a Norwegian film production within the limits of this mm. uh, great city. But also there's, there's a great film infrastructure there. We had a lot of very uh, capable and, and dedicated crew members that we worked with. Uh, we cast a lot of the film locally. A lot of the big parts in in the film are Colombian parts. The people mm -hmm. that the Norwegian mean, meet and, and deal with uh, throughout the story. And we had access to to amazing talent. We we have Marlon Moreno, as I mentioned, in in mm -hmm. the most important part as the driver and interpreter and friend and and. Uh, uh, etc. Uh, Tavu uh, is his name in the film. Uh, his sister is played by Patricia Castaneda. Uh, we okay. have Marcela Carvajal <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, Mariana de Mont. Uh, a lot of great Colombian cast that I was able to meet during the course of several pre-production travels. And finally, we stayed for six or seven weeks for the shooting of the film. Wow. Mm. Uh, this film was beginner of this month in the movie film festival in Gothenburg. Yes. How was there? It was a very good experience. Uh, the F Gothenburg Film Festival is a very uh, audience-targeted festival. They they have been going. I think it was the fortieth. Uh, festival. They have a very strong connection to to the s people of Go uh, Gothenburg. People come in hundreds and hundreds to watch the films. So we had when I was there and visited and we screened the film. We had like packed cinemas. Uh, um, fantastic response. Very warm welcome. Uh, people were curious about Colombia and this cooperation. Uh, curious about the the Colombian cast and Norwegian cast. Uh, how we worked, and there are always. I I I am very happy to say this in 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 the audiences where I screen the film so far. There are always some Colombians, uh, always some people from Bogota, and they give generous and warm compliments about the portrayal of of their city. They recognize it and feel it truthful, which was a, a big aim that we had. You mentioned that a few days ago was the premiere in here in Oslo. How was the audience in, in here in, in the premiere? Yeah, that was, that was like what we call a closed premiere. Uh, invited guests, mm -hmm. crew members, colleagues, friends and families and, you know. So that was a very um, welcoming audience, uh, obviously. Also quite a few from the, from the Colombian uh, community in, in Oslo were present. And I had the pleasure to talk with uh, quite a few of them after the film, which was very nice. Uh, no, it was a great evening, basically. So, yeah. Now this film is coming on the 24th, all the uh, screens, cinemas yes. in Norway. Yes. Tell me about uh, making invitations for the people. Well, it's uh, of course, this is the general big release. We, are, we will uh, release the film nationwide. Uh, on Friday the 24th. Uh, we hope people will find the story interesting and, and uh, hopefully w once they've seen it, share their experience with their friends and, you know, recommend other people to come see it. We, we're not a big film in the Norwegian film industry. We're, you know, so we, we really just hope that fe people take the film to heart and, and uh, pass the word on. That's... Um, for me also the most important thing that people actually have a, a good experience and both maybe emotion, emotional and, and uh, have some reflections about the story they've seen. And, yeah. Aprendió alguna palabra en español? Have you learned any words in Spanish? Well, when I arrived the first time, I didn't know Spanish at all, uh, but I think it's a fascinating language. And after the production of the film, I have actually tried to learn some, but it's difficult, so it takes its time. But, pero entonces, todos están bienvenidos a nuestra película. Thank you very much, Mr. Ariel Andresen. Fantastic.